I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The mission of Doral Academy Charter Schools is to prepare students with the academic skills that foster student success in any rigorous educational setting necessary to perform at or above grade level while instilling a belief in their own efficacy. Good morning, Doral Academy. Today is November 6, 2015. My name is Ariana Vaquerizo. And I'm Gabriela Sotomayor. And today we will see a special heartwarming story. Get an inside look on our school's MICE research program. Watch as our productioners sit down with a renowned journalist. And finally, our sports segment. FBTV Weekly starts now. now. soldier came to visit his niece as part of a wonderful surprise in Somerset Academy. Our crew was able to sit down and speak with him about his thoughts on the special reunion. In combat, a soldier is tasked with specialized missions that require extensive training and aptitude. But off the battlefield, this soldier's last mission left everyone in tears. Kiana started off her day like any other normal teenage girl would. Little does she know, her day is about to change. Well, I'll tell you, I've been gone for a year. I missed her whole junior year, so that was disappointing for me, but I'm glad I'm back for uh, the senior year. She's going to be shocked. She holds her feelings really well, so she's probably going to try to hold back the tears, uh, but she's going to be very excited. Uh, she's going to be all smiles. With the dancers performing and the band playing their hearts out, Kiana would have never suspected the surprise behind the sign. There were no shortage of tears from the Somerset Academy senior during her emotional reunion with her father that she never saw coming. Well, first I saw the sign, and when I saw his name, like I was just confused. I'm like, like my dad? What is, like I don't even see him. And I started looking around, and I saw his boots, and then I started crying, and I just, I, and then I knew that he was here. There's no words that can describe that. So she's my only daughter, my only child. Uh, this has been amazing. Signing off for Firebird TV. I'm Susana Hoyos. There are many different little activities that take place here in Doral Academy. Interestingly, our school has a special program filled with little mice. Let's take a look at the program's leader. It's a lot harder to lead a bunch of teenagers, essentially, than it might, it might seem to be. Jacqueline Cruz, co-president of the Mice Research Program at Doral Academy, takes her job seriously working hard to allow for growth in the program, showing her integrity as a leader. Our Academy's MICE research program uh, gives rising seniors an opportunity to become leaders in the program. And since my best friend and I are the leaders this year, Anna Gimirayas and I, um, we basically delegate tasks. So we clean these tanks and we, um, we observe the mice to see if they're uh, active, through my leadership training, if you'd call it, in this program starting sophomore year, I was able to not only run for president, but actually win. The fact that it's so small, we only have 12 people in the group, um, I'm actually able to see and uh, teach people individually, uh, which is what I actually enjoy the most because I get to know, these pre I get to, uh, know more about these people as, as individuals and I could see their growth uh, throughout their time in this program. So. Though handling her responsibilities may sometimes be a bit overwhelming, Jackie enjoys her position, always keeping a positive attitude. Her love for her job is clear, spreading to her peers and everyone around her. I can't complain about all my leadership roles because number one, I asked for them, and number two, I wouldn't trade them for the world. We were privileged to sit down with respected Univision journalist, Jorge Ramos. He gave us his look on the controversial incident that took place with a Republican candidate. Five, four, three, 
Born in Mexico City to a Roman Catholic family, journalist Jorge Ramos has become a familiar face in the homes of Hispanic television viewers. After nearly 30 years of being the main anchorman for Noticiero Univision, the eight-time Emmy Award winner is going from presenting the news to becoming the news. I didn't know it was going to be that big. Uh, however, now we know that whenever Donald Trump is involved, he brings a lot of attention. No, 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 no. Do you know the number? Ramos is referring to his recent confrontation with Republican presidential hopeful Donald okay, Trump during a news conference in Iowa. It's the first time in more than 30 years in which I've been ejected from a press conference simply for asking a question. I said I have a question on immigration, and when I started uh, presenting the premise of my question, Donald Trump didn't like my question, and he called on somebody else. Ramos has received criticism for taking a personal stance on immigration, but he felt that it was his job as a journalist. I think I'm just a reporter asking questions, but I think it is very important that on certain issues, as a reporter, you not only have the responsibility, but the duty to take a stand. Although he feels that it is his duty as a journalist, it is inevitable for him to feel compassion towards the subject of immigration. Once a Mexican immigrant and now an American citizen, Ramos stands true to his belief that no person is illegal. No human being is illegal. They are simply people working here in the United States, immigrants in this, in this country, nothing else, nothing more. From Firebird TV, I'm Alexis Howard reporting. Now it's time for this week's sports. Hello Firebirds, my name is Antonio Izquierdo and I'm here for your FBTV Weekly Sports. The varsity boys soccer team defeated the Ronald Reagan Bisons at Mylander Park on Tuesday night with a score of 3-1. Wednesday night also smelled the victory for the Firebirds as they defeated the North Miami Pioneers 7-2. The Firebird crowd was roaring throughout both games. The Firebird swim team yet again pulls an amazing performance at regionals, sending them to states. Congrats, boys and girls. Don't forget, Firebirds, the basketball season is just around the corner as November 17th marks their regular season opener. This is Antonio Izquierdo signing off for sports. That's it for this week, Firebirds. Hope your first week of November was anything but spooky. Have a great weekend.